Okay, it's uh, Donald Taylor coming to you. Uh, I just did one video on the implosion furnace. Could be an implosion reactor. I'm trying to uh, prove out that it's possible to shift uh, a propane, propane burn from the third state into the fourth state of matter to bring it into an ionized state. <clears throat> so I also took a series of uh, uh, vertical picks and side picks. I'll be working this in into this documentary here, and also some uh, video clips. Okay, here it goes. Okay, this is my second time round. I didn't have the, the mic set up here. On green, I got the nano mic set up, and I got the camera. You can see the parts there. Okay, I'm just going to scroll ahead a bit. Okay. Well. The heat heated up to where I can't even take this off. I have a little uh, plate like this in the bottom with, with a hole in it. Okay, this is here is where they uh, insert the one inch copper pipe. And it goes, this plate here is actually in the base of the pipe. So the bottom of the one inch copper tube is actually sitting on this. It's actually sitting on the pipe. So I don't have it separated. So the propane comes up to the middle and the air comes in through the side. Whoa. Dang it. Uh, I forgot that I turned it up. I just finished a test here. So it's actually in like this and so what happens when I turn up this here that it widens the gap right so I have a little bit of control of the air coming in so I'm going to put this back in it's probably going to start up right away because it's already preheated <coughs> the air is about five percent Turning on the propane. This is just a general overview. And we're not going to get into uh, this part yet. This is going to test the uh, uh, fuel, uh, the, uh, the air diverter preheater unit. So I'm going to do a baseline test on what you see here. All right, turning up the propane. I'm gonna have to make a separate stand for the mic here. Okay, <clears throat> this is where the the propane and the air is lit on the top. And as I, as I begin to uh, tune the air in the fuel, or just as it heats up, <clears throat> this flame will be dropped in. It'll drop into the uh, pipe. So watch this blue here, because as it heats up, this blue will actually build up in, into a cone. That's a good view of the flame. I'm going to try to turn the propane down a little more. And what we're trying to do is get the yellow to shift into a blue, a blue cone. Like an old really good transitionary state visual. 
I understand about you. Right on. All right, <clears throat> so you can see where the yellow flame is going away. And once the blue forms this cone, then you, you're going to see a flame separation where the inside of the flame is going to pull in, in on, on the inside in, into the implosion state. I'll turn it up a little more. Turn the air up. Trying to get the blue back again. Going into the blue cone. Okay, that's a little bit erratic, but <clears throat> you, you can see as the blue is forming, uh, it would phase the yellow out, then it then it pops in. It actually creates a slight uh, negative vacuum on the inside of the pipe. Watch for the flame to go inside the pipe. If you watch closely, you'll be able to see a color separation in the color band. Maybe not this time. Okay, I can see the flame going in. So actually, if we go back to here, I can get a still of it. I'm just going to run this again. Inside the pipe. If you watch closely, you'll be able to see a color separation in the color band. Maybe not this time. Okay, right down here, you can see where the inner cone is being pulled in. Okay, I can see the flame going in. I was just going to do some short uh, clips along the way here. A little bit of green from the uh, copper. The flame is pulled all the way on the inside now. And there's nothing for pain set up minimal. Okay, I'm going to stop it here and see if I can back out of this video. We're at uh, 13 and a half minutes. I'm going to pop out of this video here. Okay, it's up there. I can actually show you <clears throat> what's happening when you take the camera and look down into the core. We'll turn the air up a bit. Try to get rid of that top flame.
turning the propane down, Mark. What you're seeing here is that plasma being generated in the base of the one inch pipe. All right, we'll get out of there. No, what's going on here? Dang it. All right, give me a minute. I'm just going to run the second video. Okay, this is uh, what you actually see. The, the camera's actually too slow. Uh, that plasma is burning so fast it, it just like a blur but I was able to tune, tune it down just to a sliver which is like a tree branch that was uh, going back and forth a little bit off angle so it's hard to center the video okay I can do it there okay that's it for that one Turn the air up just a bit. It's a fairly high state. Take a visual. I'm just going to give it a little more propane. Now we're going somewhere. To this one again. This is the main one. That was a little more full pain.
see if I can use play with the inside quickly. Good shot of the inside. So somehow <coughs> I need to try to capture uh, like below the there's like a white haze in the bottom but below that uh, you can actually monitor the flame but you have to play with it to tune it just right to be able to uh, see, see through that uh, uh, plasma field that it's generating. So this here is just the after effect of the uh, plasma burning, not high end plasma, but it definitely is in the implosion state and it definitely uh, creating some kind of ionized flame. See if I can get a steal of the reed out here. All right, <clears throat> you can see where the sound is burning here, about 850 hertz. And you can see that there's a few main uh, frequencies with a lot of sideband and a lot of sideband. And so this is your. Usually it's a twin peak. Sometimes I can get it into a, uh, you know, a single line here. So the, the frequency is, you know, it does have maybe a range of 150 hertz, maybe 200 hertz.
can actually see the uh, twin peaks of frequency here. So, you know, these are, are fairly solid. Still, lots of side and band happening. Just holding down. Just like a big turbo winding down. The excess flame on the top, that's what it is. It's, a, it's excess. And when the uh, this is used, all this gets drawn in. And we're getting a strong plasma reaction already. Still, the flame that's coming out, the same as when you start it up, I'm still getting the plasma burn, it's still, uh, still in the base. So right there, it's running on minimal propane. And uh, when you actually look into it, uh, the plasma, uh, it gets uh, razor thin, and that's where, where it starts to make, to make that high arcing noise. Let's see if we can get some captures in this. Okay, let's finish this one off. It was almost turned on to nothing. Pretty cool sound, huh? Then we can measure those spikes. Definite electrical buzz on the inside. I lost it. It's still there, not buzzing. Pretty incredible.
No touch and roll controls. It's like a full plasma reaction in the base. I think more series of shots. stop it here and the whole premise is premise of this okay we're good out of here just going to show you a few pics this is the uh, phase one of the tran transition state when the flame is just lit. You can see a little bit of blue here. Starting to form. I'm not sure what what this reduction flame is. Well, it seems to, it's in the center and as you tune it, it kind of phases out. We're looking for the blue cone. Okay, she popped in. The pipe is already preheated. That's one of the reasons why it shifted in here. Maybe we can expand on this. It's pretty incredible. That's probably a speck of copper. Copper oxide that came off. Other stuff in there. I mean, the colors are just so fantastic. Pretty incredible. Okay, this is the part <coughs> I want to show you. So when you get that blue cone, what happens, you get a separation on the inside. 
And this is what you're seeing here. This, this here actually pulled away from the inside of the uh, cone <clears throat> and is transi transitioning down into the uh, base of the tube. So that's looking down in, and but the yellow uh, flame is actually blocking the view of the plasma. That's interesting. Let's blow this up. Gonna need all these colors. You got your yellow, you got your orange. And it goes into uh, a darker orange than, than actually purple. You got a purple haze all the way around. <coughs> different fuels produce different results. So you can still see some of the transitionary state here. That's a good view of it going in. Where it's pulling just inside the pipe. And I believe the <coughs> plasma is already in the base. <coughs> and this is still pulling in. Popped it back out again. This is a good example of the cone. I think that's it for that selection. So we'll go to uh, phase two, the second 